welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're all here and I have a confession. I have been laughing for like five minutes straight before I could try to get my words together <laughs> to start this video. I am standing here, was about to start and there is a bee or a wasp or something in the house and it flew right over towards me and I... <laughs> I ran and started to knock over my ring light, was able to catch that before it went down, but then got tangled in the cord of the, <laughs> the ring light, and I screamed, and then that scares Louie, so I, I just must have looked like the biggest dork. <laughs> And I, every time I would start to film this, I would just get so silly again and start laughing. So I'm trying to compose myself, but it was <laughs> a very crazy start to this video. Okay, so I'm going to take a deep breath. Okay, I got this. <laughs> I can get through this. All right. But anyways, friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so happy you're all here. And in today's video, we're going to do a vlog style. I thought I'd just kind of take you along on my afternoon. It is uh, like 11.20. I was having a really nice, lazy morning. Uh, just not doing too much other than I walked Louie, took my shower. That's basically all I've done so far today. But I do have a list of things that I want to get done. Has anyone else been hitting the Nordstrom anniversary sale? And then Prime Days was just the beginning of the week. And was curious, has anyone gotten some good things? I have a few things that I ordered that have come in that I wanted to show you because I am going to post this video hopefully soon and the Nordstrom anniversary sale will still be going on and I got a pair of boots that I absolutely am like gaga over. They are just so nice. So I want to share them with you because it's huge savings on the boots. So why don't we go ahead and we'll get started. I can show you what I got from the uh, Nordstrom anniversary sale and then also what I bought uh, from Prime Days. Okay, so the first thing I want to show you that I got from Nordstrom from the anniversary sale are these boots from Naturalizer. And I have been wanting to oops, get a pair of really nice leather boots. I wanted to invest in a pair of leather boots and I was looking all last fall and winter and didn't find a pair that I liked, that were comfortable. So when I saw these on the sale, I had actually been eyeing them and, oh, let me get my phone so I can tell you how much I saved because it was really, it was a big savings on these boots. Yeah, okay. So the boots I'm about to show you, they are, during the anniversary sale, they are $164.99. And normally they are $240, so a really good sale for these. And these are the boots. Let me hold these back. So these are 100% leather. Let me show you the heel height here. And I like that they're really simple with just a little bit of some buckle detail. And here's the, the toe. The color is really pretty too, don't you think? And they have a full zipper up the, the, the shaft of the boot. I think it's only like maybe a one and a half inch heel, so a low heel, but you know I'm tall, so that's really not an issue for me. Um, and these are the regular calf width, but they do have wide widths in these too. But oh my gosh, right out of the box, so comfortable. I think they are so pretty. I love the look of them and I was just so thrilled to be able to find these at this awesome price. So I'll definitely have these linked for you below um, in case you're interested if you were looking for a pair of boots. But they're so comfortable. I think they're really like a classic style that will just be timeless. So I was so excited to get these. And then the other two things that I got just came in yesterday. So I might be able to do like just like a little impromptu try on too with these. So let me show you. I got, this is one of those CC tops. I actually bought the pink one um, 
from Nordstrom a while back. It's got the little Swiss dot like puff sleeves, but then the body is just this like polyester knit. And I love the hot pink one, and I thought this blue color was really pretty. So maybe I'll just try this on quick for you to show it to you. And then this sweater I picked up, and what was the price on this normally? Okay, so the price on this sweater normally is $35. So still like pretty affordable for a sweater, but I think in the, during the anniversary sale, it was like, $14.99 or $13.99, like incredibly inexpensive. So it is just like a gray, really, really soft crew neck, just a cute sweater. So maybe I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll I'm gonna go ahead and try these on because I haven't actually tried these on myself. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll put the sweater in the little blue top and come back just to show you because I'm kind of curious how this one fits too. I know this will fit me fine because I bought the pink one, the same exact style in pink. So, but I just thought I'd show you. So I will be right back. Okay, here is the little blue top. This fits exactly like the pink one that I have, but I just love this little top. I love the little puffy sleeves with the Swiss dot. I think this is such a cute style, and oh my gosh, this comes in so many colors, and I'm now thinking like, oh, would, you know, would a white and a black one be a nice one to add, but really cute little tops. I'm really liking these CC tops. I think if you know money was unlimited, I saw so many of these that I would love to try, but I think the brand in general, the CC brand, really cute tops, and they're they're not super expensive either. So I'll definitely next time if I'm shopping for like a cute top, I'm gonna look at the CC ones at Nordstrom, and I think actually Macy's might carry these too, but really cute little blue top. I really like this one. All right, so right now I'll be right back. Let me show you the sweater. Oh, the air conditioner always kicks on when I'm doing videos and you probably hear that on the background but here is the little gray sweater and oh my gosh this is so incredibly soft you can see it is just so cuddly and obviously for that price you cannot beat it so I think this is a really cute one too so I'm gonna have both of these listed below in case you're interested and um, now let me go ahead, I'll change back into my other shirt and I'll show you what I got from Amazon. So really happy with both of these, really cute. Okay, and then as far as Amazon Prime goes, the day Prime days, I didn't order a, a lot. I ordered some shirts that I can't really show you because these are cute little, like with a fun saying, they're t-shirts for my girlfriends. We're going on a girl's trip in the beginning of August, so I don't want to ruin the surprise. So I'm not gonna show them to you, but they're really cute and they happen to be part of Prime Day. So I picked these up for the girl's trip. And then I think I had showed you recently, and it might have been like in a favorites video, I bought a pair of slippers off of Amazon because I couldn't find the like house shoes or slippers that I normally get. And I got, the ones that I got I really do like. I'll go ahead and insert a picture somewhere of the ones that I recently ordered. But I found that with that like furry lining on the sole, they're just a little too warm for this time of year. They'll be perfect in the winter time. But so I was still looking and then was thrilled to find that these Fit Rory ones, which are the brand of house shoes that I used to get that absolutely loved, they now are slightly different styling but still just as comfortable. So I ordered a pair of these. They used to just be like a completely gray sole. Now they've got the black, but they've got really great arch support. You can see like your heel, they've got the heel cup love 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 these little house shoes so i was able to pick up a new pair of these in prime days and then i did order um which is so unlike me and it was probably just an impulse buy but there was a tommy bahama like tropical body spray that was like only nine dollars that i never buy perfume without smelling it so who knows what this will smell like but it's supposed to be like just tropical type scent and I like that type of thing for the summer so I think that is actually supposed to come today or tomorrow and then I also ordered like a little halter top 
that I think is coming either today or tomorrow. If they happen to come in while I'm still filming, I'll obviously show those to you. But um, as far as what I need to accomplish today, I am having some friends come over tonight for drinks and we're gonna be sitting out on the patio. So I need to go ahead and I need to clean the pool and I need to clean up the powder room too. And then I'm probably gonna have to make a Target run and maybe stop at our grocery store if I can't get everything I need at Target. And I'm not sure I'm really gonna take you in there though because I'm hoping it's just a really quick in and out trip. And I was all morning long kind of scrolling through Pinterest looking for just like maybe a different appetizer to make for tonight. Everybody's gonna have had dinner already so it's not like I need to make a lot of food but obviously want like some kind of little snack and was looking for different ideas but just wasn't really inspired by anything I saw so I probably will end up doing normal like ranch dip with veggies and chips. So have to get that at the store. Oh, but I will show you I am gonna make a drink for tonight. I made it a few weeks ago when I had some friends um, just hang out by the pool with me and it is called Liquid Sunshine and it is one of those like delicious like tropical drinks and I need to get a few more ingredients for that so I'll definitely show you how to make that drink because it's really delicious. It's the type of drink that I like to drink on vacation just like you can imagine like a little umbrella in it or whatever but it's really good so I will go ahead and I will show you how to make that drink this afternoon. So basically that's all I need to accomplish this afternoon and just maybe kind of clean up the patio table outside too before they come but just kind of a easy low-key day so I just wanted to invite you along and I hope you enjoy before I take you outside to start cleaning the pool I did just want to show you I got a pedicure yesterday and I am obsessed with the color that I picked out and I thought I would go ahead and show it to you in case you're going for a pedicure yourself sometime soon or a manicure and you're looking for a new color because I think this is really cute so let me go ahead and show you my toes and I'll tell you the color that they are can you see them So the shade of my toes, it's an OPI shade and it is called, the name of it is Hollywood and Vibe and I am just loving it. I think it is just such a pretty pink and I, I really like it so I thought I would go ahead and share that with you. And then also if you're interested, this I did, these are on my nails, it is the Essie Gel Couture System. I mentioned it in Things I've Been Loving video I had a pink shade that I showed you there this is the same system but this uh, color that I have on here let me see if we can get it to focus just wants to see my head I think so let me there we go um, the shade of this is called pre-show jitters and I thought that was a really pretty one too so I'm really liking these so of course I wanted to share both of those with you all right so now we need to head out so I can go ahead and clean up the pool
packages that I had ordered from the Prime Day sale. So let's open up and see what they are here. Okay, so this is just a little halter. I thought the color looked really pretty. Isn't that pretty? It's like a pretty mint green. Um, I would try this on for you, but I don't feel like switching into a strapless bra, so I'm probably not going to, but I think this looks like it will fit and I like that it looks like it's going to be like drapier. So this could be a cute one and I I forgot how much I spent on this. I'll, I'll go ahead and link it below. Obviously Prime Days are over but it looks like a cute tank and they had a bunch of colors in that. Oh and here is that... Um, the Tommy Bahama body spray that I was telling you about. So, this was so unlike me to do this. I don't know why I ordered a fragrance without smelling it. This is pretty and it smells like something, it smells familiar to me. Oh, but this is actually very pretty. I'll try to look up what the notes are online because I can't remember and then I can maybe list them here, but it's got, it's like a little bit of floral, like a soft floral. I'm not a big floral person, very soft, um, like definitely like a tropical type floral. I don't know, I'll have to look at the notes. I'm not really good at describing fragrances, but I do like this. This is actually kind of nice. It's, it's pretty, this is really pretty. Okay, so I think I'll end up keeping this one too. All right, so that was everything that I ordered from the anniversary sale and from Prime Days. And, and now I'll go ahead, I'll try to like prop you up. It's just a tiny little powder room, but I got obviously having people over, I wanna make sure that it's all cleaned up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. Okay, I got the powder room all cleaned up. And wiped down the mirror, the lights. I even wiped down the little peacock pictures behind the toilet, but fresh towel out. I always like to do that before I have people coming over. So I think this is all nice and clean. Well, I just ran into Target and I actually think I was really good. I stuck to my list for once and got just what I needed. So I was really kind of in and out, but nothing too exciting that I got in there. But I will just show you everything when I get home. But I do have to stop at Jewel, our grocery store, because I couldn't get everything there that I needed. So one more stop and then I'll be heading back home. Okay, this is not the most exciting haul, but I'll just show you quickly what I got. I was really good, like I said, I did not get anything I didn't have on my list for Target. I needed to get a couple of the bone broths for Louie that I mix his food with, and then this is actually for him too. He's been having some health issues, and he's probably going to be on this Omeprazole for the rest of his life, but so I had to pick up more of those for him. And I had to get another one of the e.l.f. Holy Hydrations face cream. I mentioned this, I think, in the things I've been loving. I needed to get another one of those because I'm running low already. And I got some deodorant. I love this, um, the Dove, the coconut scent one. I really like this. And we needed some tissues. And then I got the little cans of pineapple for the drink. I'm going to show you. Hang on here. I got this bottle of pineapple juice, um, I don't know, it's maybe like not even two weeks old, and for the drink that I'm making, when I made for my friends that one day, and it says on here like best if used by like June 12th or January 12th, 2023, 
and but it just looked a little funny to me does it look funny to you I don't know if I should go ahead and use that or if I should just use, open up the fresh cans now that I have it out of here it, I, and I shook it up it doesn't look so bad but when it was separated in the refrigerator I wasn't sure it was okay so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for the drink because you need a cup and a half of pineapple juice so either I'll use the cans or this I'm not sure and then for the drink that I'm going to be making, I needed a bottle of the Malibu rum and then some orange juice. And I have been in a peanut butter kick lately and I've never had this the roasted honey nut, so I'm going to try that, which absolutely sounds delicious. I got some chips and I got some carrots, a cucumber and a pepper for to make up some ranch dip. I already had some sour cream and a Hidden Valley Ranch packet in the pantry, so I'm good with that. And then uh, my husband's out tonight, so I am solo dinner before my friends come, so I just picked up this sushi for my dinner. So like I said, not too exciting, but that is everything I got. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make that drink that I was telling you about, the liquid sunshine. I have all the ingredients here ready to go. I think I'll prop the camera down on the counter just so you can see a little bit closer, but we're gonna go ahead and make up a picture of the liquid sunshine. Okay, so the first thing you do is add a cup and a half of the Malibu rum. And a half a cup of vodka. Three cups orange juice. Three cups cranberry juice. Two cups ruby red grapefruit juice. And one and a half cups pineapple juice. And I think this is fine. Once I shook it up, I think it looks absolutely fine. And then just mix it all together. Well, it is 2.30 and this is usually the time when I have lunch. So I am gonna go ahead and make myself some lunch and I'm gonna use that honey roasted peanut butter that I got and make up. I, I, lately, one of the lunches that I like to eat is I take rice cakes and I put the peanut butter and then slice banana on the top. So I think I'm gonna try that new peanut butter. going to keep this vlog short because I want to make sure that I can get it uploaded quickly because if any of you are shopping the Nordstrom anniversary sale and you're looking for boots I want to make sure I go ahead and share that link with you um, because I really do like the boots that I got so much so I want to make sure that this gets uploaded quickly so I think this is going to be the end of the vlog for today I'm gonna to go and enjoy my peanut butter banana rice cakes and I do want to thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. I love spending time with you, and I will see you next time. Bye.